All right, what's up, guys? Uh, just gonna do a quick upgrade on this GMG CM16 Raider. I'm gonna put a uh, modified bat baton Rowski uh, flat hop <clears throat> with a on it, and then I'll put the Mad Bull 603 precision precision barrel. It's a tight bore compared to the 608 that comes stock in the CM16. So let's go ahead and get into it. Go ahead and pop your your pin out. I'm gonna pull out the other side here. See? You'll come apart. You can set this to the side. Here, you'll pull out your hop up and your barrel. I just slide mine out nice and nice and easy there. And you can set this to the side. So what we'll be working with is the G and G hop up and their 608. So here's your spring. I'm gonna keep up with that. And uh, first things first, you'll take off this clip. If I could get it off. Oops. Okay. Got your clip off. Make sure you place that where you know where it goes. It's good to keep everything more nice while you're working on something. Pull out your barrel. When you pull out your barrel, you see how it's trying to do that right there. You don't want that to happen. But being a deleting that bucking, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of twist it out. There we go. All right. And there's my bucking. Let's see if I can get an angle where you can see the nub inside. Okay. Now, there's a little nub inside there. You can barely see it. Anyways. Is that there's a fancy ring I don't even know what that does okay got your barrel and hop up this hop up has a little bitty screw right here take this out I like to put my thumb on it so it won't, hopefully it won't fall out and we'll go wherever. Okay. Now, screw. If you notice, I've set everything in the order I've taken it off for in case I need to put it all back on. And here we go. There's a little O-ring on there. That's new. Okay, that pin right here is holding my hop-up adjustment on, and so I will take my hop-up arm. Ooh, that's nerve-wracking. Okay, so I took that screw out and popped out my gear, and then I pushed this pin out to release this, which just kind of holds your hop-up from rattling inside the rifle. Um, next, we'll take a very small screwdriver and if I can, very gently, just give some up pressure. Hold your thumb on top, give you a little up pressure. And that will take off this gear. Oh, come on. Okay, see? Now that's the gear retainer ring and gear. Okay, now, this gear retaining ring is on the opposite side. So let's put my finger on the back there. Get real careful up under there. Don't want to damage anything. And see if I can pry out real slow. That felt a little breaky. So I'll come around to the back of the re retaining ring. And I'll place that like so. Now, I'm going to push this piece. Pull out my gear. All my gears look good still. And there is gear number three in order. Alright. Now we're going to take my hop up out or my hop up adjusting arm out what okay it's gonna have a spring on the front of it okay now there's the hop up solely by itself now I'm gonna take this little spring off so I don't lose it this little bitty spring I can't get the camera to focus okay goes there now what just happened was this is my roller okay 
it'll fit right into here. It's a little roller. But we don't need that roller anymore for that little nub because we no longer have the nub inside of the bucking. Now, she's all clean. <clears throat> Go to my baton roski and open her up. It was already split when I uh, when it came in the mail. It was already busted open. So, okay. See here, it has no. There's no form of nub or anything inside there. Now there inside this package is a very small flat hop nub. Do not lose this. That nub goes right where the roller bar went. You see? Bam, it goes right in there. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and let's uh, reattach our spring where it goes. Bam. We'll put our nub right here. Hold it so it won't fall. And we will try to place this back into place. Alright, here is the Mad Bull Black Python. Will not focus, huh? Version 2. Anyways. So I'm actually going to now Okay, so I put on my bucking. Oh, I didn't put it on backwards. Um, okay, there's my bucking, my flat bucking on my precision barrel. Side note, be very careful with these uh, black python. These are aluminum barrels and they're very, very sensitive. They're bendable. Um, just show caution when using these. So I'm going to now insert this back into my okay now this ring I do believe this ring here I believe slides over the end of the barrel and fits right there. See that? It's like a spacer. I like that. And of course you're going to want to make sure you put this in the right orientation. I just had it upside down. Okay, and that spacer will fit right along there. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my clip back on. Let's make sure we have that also facing in the right orientation. And that goes like so. Now, clip that back on. Alright. Now that that's back together, we can now try to apply our as best I can and okay okay so what I've decided to do I put a very small dot of super glue right up underneath this flat hop I do not like that I cannot get this to focus all right so I put it right up underneath that flat hop nub and now <clears throat> I'll be trying to apply this inside of the hop of unit like so. Okay. All right, this is where it goes right here. Okay, it's just great. Okay. Okay, we got it back in there. So now let's move this. 
Now let's go in reverse. We will be putting on my first gear, which is right here. See, got my nub coming out the back. Now let's go ahead and put on my retaining ring. Which is going to work. Maybe it should go the other way. Hmm, I didn't know that. Okay, so apparently these retaining rings go on one direction, which is opposite of the way that they are flanged out. Okay. Now, let's apply this gear. Bam. Alright, see how I had those feed those to make them match nice and pretty they are nice and matched up now we'll put on this re turning ring also which I'm just gonna push down with my finger now and make sure that those little flanges are nice and tight against the nub okay so here we go with this piece remember I had the pin that feeds through the back. Let's go ahead and apply the pin in here. Oops. Okay, we'll put my pin down in here like so. Okay, just drop the pin down in there. And now we'll put it through the rear. Put my finger on it. Put it through the rear of this hole. Okay, let's keep pushing, keep pushing until it pops through. There we go, we're all the way through now. Pretty sure. Okay. Now we got it nice and tight. See how it, you can tell now how this right here will hold inside the rifle and won't let your hop up rattle. All right, then you'll put on your gear here. There, now you see how they're moving? They're moving all in conjunction. Okay, now let me put this screw back in the end. And tighten it down. Okay. And there we are. Now if we adjust this. Okay. And then you just... Put this back in the gun. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Just like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment below.